Hi everybody, my name is Gabrielle and my nickname is Gabby. So when I saw this book, I knew it was the one that I needed to read to you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. The book is called Gabby Abby. All right, so let's get to the good stuff. Hi, my name is Abigail and I just love to talk. That is how I got the nickname Gabby Abby. Talk, 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 and talk. If I'm not talking, I'm asking questions. I only stop talking when I'm listening to the answers. Other than that, talk, 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 and talk. Unless I have to stop to eat, have a drink, or to go to sleep. Other than that, talk, 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 and talk. Oh, I just love to talk. I learn so many new things, and then I can share the information with my friends. Did you know that spiders have eight legs? I trip a lot, and I only have two legs. When a snake closes its eyes, it sees through its eyelids. How does it ever sleep? Flamingos at with their heads upside down. I tried it and it's hard to do that. It's a bit messy. If you shave the fur off of a tiger, it has striped skin. I wonder who did that. I will never wear lipstick. It was made with fish scales. Yuck! The original name for butterfly was Flutterby. I think Flutterby is better because that is what they do. How do I know? I asked. And because I talk, 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 and talk, you know it too. Can a fish swim backwards? Why is the sun yellow? Does a hummingbird hum or can it sing like other birds? Maybe I forgot the words. When Abby reached school, she was ready to ask some questions, but Miss Pinkerton, her teacher, had other plans. Today, we're going to have a test on multiplication tables, Miss Pinkerton said. Abby and several other students sunk down in their seats. Miss Pinkerton, Ms. Pinkerton asked, are there any questions? Now Abby knew that sometimes her questions did not relate to the subject Miss Pinkerton was teaching in class, but she just could not resist asking. Abby raised her hand. Yes, Abby, Miss Pinkerton said. Is a zebra black and white stripes? or white with black stripes, asked Abby. The class burst out laughing, but Miss Pinkerton quickly quieted them by putting her finger to her lips and pretending to zip her mouth shut. Actually, Abby, Miss Pinkerton said, a zebra is white with black stripes. I thought so, said Abby. Who would like to start us off with the, with the times one table from zero to 10, Miss Pinkerson asked. Abby raised her hand excitedly. This one was easy. One times anything equals anything. Kristen, would you please come to the board and write the times one table for the class, Miss Pinkerson said. Tristan proudly walked to the board and wrote the times one table. Excellent, Miss Pinkerton. Mackenzie, would you please do the times two table for us? This continued through the times eight tables and the students did a wonderful job. They had obviously studied hard. Now, Abby was worried. She knew that the times 10 table was easy. All you had to do was to put the zero after the first number, but the times nine table, that one's hard. What would she do if Miss Pinkerton called on her? 
Abby, said Miss Pinkerton, I would like you to show the class the times nine table. Abby didn't want to. She knew she had not studied, but she had to go to the front of the class and do the best that she could. She approached the board and wrote the table. Abby looked at what she had written and she said to herself, I know some of the answers, like 10 times nine is 90. One times nine is nine. Zero times nine is zero. I'll write them down in their equations. She was starting to feel better since she had some of the correct answers written down. Abby thought for a second and decided to count the parts she didn't know. Let's see, she said to herself. The first one I don't know is two times nine, so I'll put a one next to it. The second one I don't know is three times nine, so I'll put a two next to it. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. She realized that she didn't know too many answers. As she thought about each one, she wrote the numbers next to the equations she didn't know. The times nine table then looked like this. You see, she had the zero times nine is zero. One times nine is nine. Two times nine is one. The first one Abby didn't know was nine times nine is two. The second one Abby didn't know, four times nine is three. Five times nine is the fourth one she didn't know. Six times nine is five. Seven times nine is six. Eight times nine is seven. Nine times nine is eight. The eighth one Abby didn't know. 10 times nine is 90. There were many snickers and chuckles from the class, but Miss Pinkerton said, quiet down and let Abby finish. Remember that it's not nice to bully a person by laughing or making fun of them. Well, Abby was almost in tears. She was just about to give up when she had an idea. Maybe, just maybe, if she checked her table from the bottom up, she could get some of the answers correct. She wasn't going to give up. Abby thought to herself, nine times nine. Well, that's the first one I don't know. And she marked the table as she did before. And then she thought eight times nine. Oh, I don't know that one either. So she marked the table again, and it looked like this. Abby was really nervous, but she continued with the rest. She looked at the equation, realized she didn't know the answer, and she marked it down. She was done. She completed the table. So let's look at that, right? Zero times nine is zero. One times nine is nine. Two times nine is 18. Three times nine is 27. Four times nine is 36. Five times nine is 45. Six times nine is 54. Seven times nine is 63. Eight times nine is 72. Nine times nine is 81. And 10 times nine is 90. Excellent work, Abby, Miss Pinkerton said. Aren't you glad you asked me how you could remember the nine times table? Abby had a big smile, but she knew she had to give up some talk, 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 or some study, study, study. She remembered Miss Pinkerton telling her that not everything has an easy trick to help her get through the problem. Before taking her seat, Abby said, Miss Pinkerton, can an elephant jump? Miss Pinkerton just smiled and said, no. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you know that sometimes instead of talk, 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 you need to study. It was great hanging out with you today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.